You don't hear very much anymore about BC's herring fishery. That's because it's all but disappeared. But as Bob Nixon found out, efforts to bring it back are paying off. The journey begins under a Squamish pier at low tide. That was fun. My guide is retired school teacher Jack Cooley of the Squamish Streamkeepers. Oh, yeah. well, I spend a fair amount of time here, actually. And we're here to inspect some pilings that hold the pier up, looking at tiny white dots that cover each one. Anyway, they're quite alive. The dots are actually herring eggs. Millions of eggs are attached to the pilings that the Streamkeepers wrap with simple weed control cloth. What would be this be like if you hadn't put the wrapping around it? Well, uh, all the herring eggs would be uh, died, would, would have died. The uh, herring population of Howe Sound would be much, much less than it is at the moment. Three years ago, the stream keepers decided to try to revive the Howe Sound herring population. It's a small but important fish, feeding salmon, whales, and seal, netted for a roe considered a delicacy in Japan. It's not threatened, but the stream keepers were concerned. Sure, herring laid their eggs on seaweed here, but... By chance, we walked in underneath here and noticed that uh, the herring eggs were uh, no longer alive down there. Like pilings up and down the B.C. coast, these were coated with creosote. Creosote isn't just a good preservative, it's a killer. It acts as a pesticide. In the state of Washington, they not only have banned new creosote pilings from going in, they're taking the old ones out. Cooley took us to the government wharf in Squamish, where they've just put in a new floating dock. Here we are, putting in new creosoted pilings still, and the evidence is obvious. Uh, we shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. The stream keepers want creosote pilings banned. In the meantime, they'll keep wrapping them because it seems to be working. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Squamish.